We just got our first official season three teaser and we're already being teased with brand new map changes, collab characters, and even hints to how the storyline of season three may go. We've got a lot to talk about, so I'm not gonna waste any time. Consider using my code TLL the Reaper in the item shop. And without further ado, let's dive into the sandstorm. Yesterday, Fortnite revealed the season three title, Wrecked. Earlier that same day, the main portion of our mini event concluded. We watched as Zeus struck his final bolt of lightning at Pandora's box, overloading it and unleashing our next biggest threat, the Wanderer. It retreated into the distance and gathered its storm, and now it's making its way slowly to us with a deadly and absolutely massive sandstorm. So by the season title alone, we know the island is going to be, well, wrecked. Today, we got our first official teaser, and it's absolutely packed with things to break down, so let's do it. Fortnite posted this image on screen, a picture of a giant factory in a raging sandstorm, along with power armor from the Fallout game series on the top. There's a couple options for how this Fallout collab will make it in-game, it could be a mythic item that we find on the map for our characters to wear and put on like characters in Fallout, or it could be an outfit a part of the battle pass. Either way, having a Fallout collab already makes the theme of this season much more clear. It's going to be a total apocalypse. The second thing to discuss about this image is the factory POI we see at the bottom. This could be a Fallout related POI, but I kind of doubt it, and we'll get more into why in a second. Palm trees can be seen scattered around the factory, which hints at where exactly this place could be located. One of the only places on the map with palm trees like this is Snooty Steps, which makes me believe it'll be choked out by the sandstorm and bulldozed to the ground to make way for this factory. <sighs> All right, I'm sorry, I really don't like that location, but it does seem like it could be replaced next season. But we're not done just yet. You all know here on the channel, we do more than just state the obvious. We like to dive into these teasers and figure out everything that's going on. So let's take a closer look at this factory and see if we can get a sneak peek into the storyline for season three. Looking very closely into the details of this teaser, we can find this symbol branded on one of the walls. If this looks familiar to you, that means you've been keeping up to date with recent leaks. But if it doesn't, that's okay too, because they'll show you on screen. Last week, many leakers found that putting the audio ambience of the sandstorm into a spectrogram, which basically visualizes audio, creates this set of symbols. The one on the right side is the exact same symbol we can see in game on the side of this factory. Now there's currently a ton of theories about who or what the symbol represents. Many believe this could be the Wanderer, and I'll admit my theory has changed a couple times too. But based on this teaser and what we're seeing right now, I think it's safe to say this symbol represents what the factory is producing. Nitro. A couple days ago, Mark Rain posted on Twitter that his teaser word for Season 3 is Nitro. It's very likely that this mysterious substance is the powerful combination that was made in the Styx River when Pandora's box was heating up the water around it, creating a neon green liquid that was spread with each passing day. In post-apocalyptic movies and stories, it's very common for there to be themes of scarce resources, and wars over these resources. If this Nitro ends up becoming a powerful substance, we could see the island go to war over it throughout this sandstorm apocalypse. And based Based on the name alone, it seems like it could power tons of stuff, cars, buildings, and maybe even people. In the key art for Season 3 found in Fortnite's leaked roadmap, we can see a character with tubes going around through their body. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if Islanders ended up using this nitro to power themselves or even weapons they held. So long story short, it's possible this factory seen below is producing nitro, and that symbol we see on the side of the factory, which looks like a flaming head, could be representing just that. The flames could also give us a hint to what this nitro does, which, like I said, could act as a fuel or adrenaline rush when used. And just as I'm recording this video, IRL teasers are being sent out to creators, depicting a brand new car vehicle and a license plate that says, Eat Nitro. This pretty much confirms what we just talked about, which is that it'll be something that powers cars and might be able to be consumed. Well, maybe it shouldn't be, but you know we will anyway. Anywho, that's pretty much everything we can break down today. I've got a couple videos I'm working on right now, including an explanation of everything we saw in our live event along with what we can expect from the Wanderer in Season 3, and if I have time to, a video discussing the roadmap and how the entire story will play out for the next couple seasons. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for all of that, like the video if you enjoyed this breakdown, and consider using my code TLLTHEREAPER in the item shop if you'd like to support me. Thanks for watching, until next time, keep it reaping!